A warm welcome to you. I'm Esther Gishuki, and this is Agri News. As the county government of Wasin Gishu continues to urge farmers to join cooperatives, there is one women group that is already ripping profits from their group. Kurur Women's Group, which was formed in 1986, has to date been able to put up rental facilities, a petrol station, among other things, all from their farm earnings. Our reporter Jacqueline Kemunto sat down with the leaders of this cooperative and filed the following report. Started back in the year 1986, Kurur Women's Consumer Cooperatives is one of the women's group that has beaten all times tied to emerge among the leading women's group in Wasingishu County. Having started as a mere women's charmer, the group has grown to the extent of being registered as a consumer cooperative society with close to 200 registered members. Emily Boyd is Kurur's Women Group Treasurer. Kurur Women Consumers Cooperative site, Ilianza Mwaka wa 1986. Ilianza Kwanza Kama Group of Women who were registered as Hospital. Walichiunga wakaona wa mama wana maternity ya wa mama. Wakajiunga kama hao groups 32. Kama mmoja hao ni Kurur Women Consumers Cooperative. Baada ya hapo tukakuja kama Kurur tukaanza mradi yetu. Tukakaa chini tukaona tukaonelea tutafanya nini hili watoto wetu tupate usaidizi ya kusaidia watoto wetu. The petrol station was put up in 1988. However, due to numerous challenges that came with the petrol sector, such as fluctuating fuel prices and sometimes lacking fuel to supply their market, the women decided to lease out their property, which Emily says still earns them some good money. Kwa sahi, tumelis na Stapex, lakini patu yuko Genia Cooperative ya Kurur. Ngao walikuwa tunaweka mafuta ilikuwa na challenges yao tena. Mafuta ilikuwa inafluctuate, inaenda juu, inarudi jine. Saa singine inatupata, saa hile tumeleta mafuta tumeweka kwa matanki. Kwa ipei yenye ilikuwa juu, wanarudisha jine. Hapo sasa inakuwa challenge sana kwa sababu, kwa hapo ilikuwa hakuna otherwise. Ilikuwa mafuta tuuse kwa bei hile wameweka. Sasa likuwa tunapata asara. Sasa singina inafluctuate, inapanda gidoko kama tuko na mafuta tunapata hapo faida. When the petrol station was up and running, Emily reveals that the women sat down again and thought of another project to put up. The income was still coming from their farm earnings and the little profit they were making from their petrol station. Tukawana tuchenge nyumba ya rental houses. Na tukakuwa pia wa kwanza kujenga nyumba kama ya korofa kama hii kwa siwa senda tena. Tulimalisa hii rental house kwa mwaka wa 1996. Currently the women's group is in the process of building a silo which they say can hold a capacity of up to 6,000 bags of cereals of 90 kgs. The women have recently bought some 1 million shares at the Moisoy Farmers Union, which is in the process of building a milling plant. They say they hope to get more income once the milling plant is operationalized. For Farmers TV, I'm Jacqueline Kemunto. Urban developments have completely taken over city spaces, leaving no room for farming enthusiasts. This, however, has not been the case with Andrew Kioi, who's a farm owner in Kasarani, Nairobi County. Mr. Kioi raised over 80 pigs and 15 cows in his urban farm at the heart of Kasarani. Our reporter, Hilda Kibet, visited the farm and filed the following report. Tucked in the high-rise Kasarani estate, just two minutes off the thicker superhighway is the Kioi's farm. A very unusual establishment in the middle of a buzzing city where majority of the population are consumers rather than farmers. The Kioi's farm is home to 14 dairy cows and over 80 pigs. We met Mr. Andrew Gishimu Kioi, the farm owner and manager, who tells us why he chose farming over rental developments. I've always liked farming. 
And uh, now that I had uh, the, the plot, I, I think I decided just to go it because I've always been passionate about it. And uh, like I said earlier, even my dad used to do it. And so it is, it is something that is, uh, that is in me. According to Mr. Kiyoi, farming in Nairobi is very profitable as there is a ready market for farming products at a good price. In, in the future, maybe I would like to do not 10 mothers, maybe maybe 20, and as I said earlier, also relocating maybe to the, because Nairobi, as you see, it's growing. I may think of doing something here now, and I move it to somewhere else, but most likely within the vicinity, around Juja. Uh, Kiambu area. It's, it's very, it's, you are near the market because basically the market is here in Nairobi. Food for his pigs is also readily available as there are a lot of restaurants where you can collect leftover feeds which are boiled thoroughly. It's very much recommended. There is also these uh, mbogas, the cabbages. So I normally also get those cabbages, boil them, and the potato peels. I normally get them from hotels these fish and chips uh, joints, I get them, but when they come, I have to boil them. Once I boil them, I, I, <coughs> I give them this, the, 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 the normal feed, and then I also give them that as an added, as an added uh, meal, uh, so to speak. Normally, it's, uh, the, the pigs, the digestive system of, of, of a pig, eh, it, it, it does well with things which are cooked, unlike the cows. But pigs are, pigs normally, the digestive system, system is very, is, 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 is uh, very accommodative to things that uh, are cooked. The venture has come with benefits in abundance. Mr. Kiyoi says pig farming can give you good returns in one lump sum at the end of the rearing period of six to seven months. The point here is that in that whole year you have sold about 100 uh, grown-up pigs. If you multiply, there's a million that will be, uh, we will have... Uh, uh, will have circulated within uh, within that one year. Farming in the city is quite unusual. Mr. Kiyohi, as against all odds, pursued his passion for farming without being swept away by the waves of the city. Inspiring, to say the least. Hilda Kibet reporting for KTN Farmers TV. Dairy farming in Kenya has experienced major improvements over the years as more farmers have realized the importance of diversifying their farming ventures for better profits. Such is the case of one dairy farmer in Kitale who started his farming venture with three dairy cattle and has since turned his farm into a breeder farm and is now raising over a hundred cattle. Jacqueline Kemunto with more. Domestic dairy farming is common in all parts of the country. It is a practice where families rear dairy cows for their domestic use. While traditionally the milk from these cows was meant to cater for the needs of the homestead, there's been a significant transformation where small-scale farmers generate income by selling extra milk. Archbishop John Jorogemburu is one such farmer in Kiminini, Transoya County. He started his dairy farming venture as a hobby in 2011 after his search for a job hit the rocks. <laughs> wakiwa na ndama wake kisha ba ba baada ya nikakuwa finance na, na Kenya women nikaka ka ka kaongeza ka, 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 si, six six animals wenye walizika si, six animals kuna mwanunuzi mmoja akakuja na kanunua 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 ngombe wote so nikarudi in the field nikanunua wengine kakuwa ngombe 10 na 10 na, na wawili saa 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 za sa, safari yangu ya Njoroge continues to reveal that that's where the idea of coming up with a breeder farm was born. Nimekuwa ni 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 kizalisha ma 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 ngombe pia nikiuza. Bara ni weza kuenda kwa 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 ni cooperative tibu bango wakani pia pia finance ni kavi vigiza ngombe sa sa sarasini sa 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 kutoka kwa ngombe sarasini ni wame fika kasa. Since Njoroge was focused on venturing into dairy farming, he chose to breed the Holstein Freshians. This is my Holstein, kutoka U, U, U.S. na kutoka, kutoka Canetherans. Hapo ndipo ambapo tunatuwa mbegu zetu. Kwa, kwa, 
kwa 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 hivyo kwa, 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 za hizi wale wa mama ni the originals ambao wamezaa au wamebaki kitu kama 10 pa 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 percent tunaenda tukikiwaondoa Apart from selling milk Njoroge also sells his dairy herds his farm has grown to the extent of attracting clientele such as president Uhuru Kenyatta Kuna mbegu aina mbili kuna mbegu ya ya, ya sexy men na kuna mbegu ambao ni ya, ya convectional so ambao ni wasiana he 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 was convection uzuri wake yake maziwa ni maziwa ni mengi huwezi kukuokombea na breed breed za loko una una unaweza ukimbia na the world vi vinyi nenda bro tutumia roko utamark time tuko na challenges kwanza moja ni 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 maziwa so 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 ya ya maziwa imekuwa cha ni changamoto kuu Reporting for Farmers TV, I'm Jacqueline Kemunto. The government's livestock insurance program has released the last batch of the 2018-2019 fund for Tana River County livestock farmers. The 1.9 million Kenyan shillings batch is the final payment after the October 2018, February 2019 insurance issuing. A significant percentage of food security depends on reliable harvest from smallholder farmers. But erratic weather is making the job increasingly risky. This year, droughts has cut into harvest across many countries in Kenya where thousands of hardworking farmers struggle to make ends meet. To ensure a steady food supply, experts have advised farmers to secure their livelihoods through insurance. There is, however, many meats that have to be debunked before which main insurance companies have taken off. We spoke to a few insurance gurus and farmers on some of the meats as well as the importance of insurance for Kenyan farmers. Actually, I've been able to learn about a few things. Poultry, some farming about avocado, some beekeeping, and also about the insurance, where one can get an insurance in his farming experience. Uh, insurance is very important, especially because of the, the four agendas of uh, the country. So we, because we know uh, agriculture is now a, is the business as uh, any other business, and it's also uh, contributing to the GDP. So that's why most of the farmers, uh, they do farming as uh, they didn't know about this other way, how they can be able to insure them. So uh, the role of the insurance, how it is coming in, is because now the risk that are, uh, the farmers are exposed to, especially when they are doing the, uh, the, uh, the farming. Because we know that uh, farming is a high risk venture, number one. Also there is an element of income, there is an element of collateral, which the farmers also are not, not be able to know. But now when the role of insurance, how it comes, it will be able to help them in terms of the risk so that they can be able to have a peace of mind. Uh, you know, it, it is a myth that is, is out there, but I don't think it is really um, expensive. It is just whatever people uh, have in their minds. But when they engage us and we talk to them, they see the, the value for their money in that because of the risk that we cover, if you check it in relation to what uh, a farmer is stand to benefit, that myth is, uh, it, is uh, it, it won't be there because people will be able to appreciate the importance of the insurance. For you to get insurance, we even insure you even with one acre. Even uh, we are now doing even the greenhouses. So that is a myth that uh, people think that maybe because I, I, do, I don't have a, a large tract of land that I cannot be able to get insurance. I think insurance, it is just a myth that's there. We are now insuring, we have even farmers in our books who have even one acre, some of them even have even, even a smaller, they have planted like tomatoes, and we are giving them insurance. So I think it is just a myth that is there. 
Reporting for Farmers TV, I'm Valentine Atieno. Up next is a roundup of agricultural stories that have been trending in other parts of the world. Rwandan farmers whose crops were destroyed by a hailstorm between March and May this year are decrying lack of seeds to plant in the coming farming season. The farmers are part of those affected by disasters as are being protected by the National Climate Outlook released in February this year, which anticipated heavy rainfall between March and May in parts of western, northern and southern provinces and city of Kigali. The outlook by Rwanda Meteorological Agency and the Ministry of Emergency had warned that the disasters would affect about 48,000 households who still live in high-risk zones. Brazil's agriculture minister has defended a record number of pesticide and weed killer approvals this year, saying the government was not putting poison on anyone's plate. The remarks by Teresa Cristina, who is close to the country's powerful agribusiness industry, come as Brazil faces growing criticism over deforestation in the Amazon and its heavy use of toxic farming products. Both issues could create problems for a free trade agreement between the South American Mercosur trade bloc that includes Brazil and the European Union. She added that they cannot terrorize Brazilian consumers or external consumers for more than 162 countries that import Brazilian products. She claimed that the Brazil's reputation was being denigrated. On today's segment of Sauti Amkulima, we feature farmers from Kitui County as they speak of their challenges in beekeeping ventures. Apo <laughs> Apo, na wesi wakaenda. Wesi wakaenda kwa mana wanaenda kwa sababu ya maji. Uki, wakipata maji, shakula wanaesa endea mali iko na wanarudi kwa misinga. E, hata wanawenjiwekea shakula ya. Na tukiona changasi mekua, atu wesi kungusa musinga. Tukingusa tukitua hii asali, hiyo musinga wanaesa toroka kwa mana wana shakula ya kutosha. Lasima tuangale pile hali iko. Tukiona hali ni mbaya, hatuwezi, abadhali tukai bila wasali, lakini nyuki kai kwa musinga. Now let's look at how different agricultural commodities are performing in different markets across the country.
Mama boy, aki si biashara si raisi, wacha si tukae tu hapa na stress. Ati stress? Sija kwa next week na fungua kiosk? Hey, jumina! Weka weka! Need to save? Weka weka na KCB M-Pesa. Save money easily on your phone at over 6% interest rate. Go to the M-Pesa menu, loans and savings, select KCB M-Pesa and start saving now. The more you save, the more you can borrow. That's all we had for you today on Agri News. I'm Esther Gishuki. Until next time, goodbye.